uh, when you're doing arrays in HTML, it's always a little bit annoying to having to draw or to render an array in HTML. In classic JavaScript, if you want to do an array in HTML, you would do something like, let's say that I have an array that says Bob and Sandy. If I want to make this an HTML, I would have to first see what HTML elements I want to use for rendering this. But let's say that I want to render it like a UL, like an unordered list. So I would have to, let's say, well, this is the array, my bad, it's not, this is the list. So this will be the HTML representation of that list. It will be something like um, a string UL that I would concatenate to that string. I will concatenate the list, map it. Uh, for every name that I have, I will wrap it that name into an ally like this. And then I will close my ally. And then inside, I will put the actual name. And then when you finish looping, you join it all as a string. When you finish mapping, and then you have to add the last closing UL to the string. So this will output something like UL and the all the allies wrap it, and then the closing UL. With React, it's a lot more simple. Because in React, it will do it for you. If it knows that you have a UL, it will automatically join that for you. It will not put it in allies, but it will put it all together for you. So I can hear. If I want to output something like this, I could make my array like this, and you would see how React magically will grab this array and will put it together like a string, all together, like one, like doing a dot join. Basically, you don't have to do the dot join anymore. Let's see if this works. When I compile it like this, it's all joined in a single string. You can see it in, in the inspector. So this is what React output it based on my array. You see it's it's every array item all together like an HTML string. It's like it's putting it together. So if we wanna make it render the nav links uh, to render like this that it's what it's being asked I guess we have to also add an anchor to it link to google.com link to facebook.com link to amazon.com okay so instead of Bob, Freddy, Shazam, uh, Willy B we would have to make it like this. So my first ally will be here, my second ally will be here, my third ally would be here. Like that. Let's test it to see if it looks, if it renders exactly that. It's, it's very similar to, we have a warning. Your code compiled successfully with some warnings. Unexpected trailing comma. Yeah, it's the last comma there. Let me try again. Yeah, there it is. So those are the, th the three links. If you see in the inspector, they are like an HTML list of allies, exactly the same as the one that we were being we were asked. So the whole point of this exercise was to show how you can put together the allies like this and it will automatically concatenate them because that's what JSEC does. We have an error. Let me see where the error is. Ah yeah, I forgot to change the class for class name. So let's do that. There you go.